What really happened between Ashanti and Nelly? Ten years and no ring. Early Y2K was a moment in US history that you either reminisce about or completely shove to the back of your memory bank, hoping to never see a pair of leather laced pants and baby fat crop tops ever again. Despite it being a highly questionable, yet nostalgic period for fashion, the music side of things were a bit more tangible. Along with the music came the good old conspiracies, like Eminem's Stan replacing him back in 2006, and the wave of gossip stories about celebrity couples like Beyonce and Jay-Z, Britney and Justin, Whitney and Bobby, and more. Although they may not have been as high-profiled as the couples listed, Ashanti and Nelly's hush-hush relationship still had us talking. The era of Murder, Inc. and Southern rap, Dirty South hip-hop took over the early to mid-2000s like no other. With the release of Nelly's debut album, Country Grammar, in 2000, and Ashanti's debut self-titled album, Ashanti, in 2002, the two stepped foot into the mainstream side at around the same time. Being that both of their albums were successful and won them multiple Grammy Awards, the two eventually crossed paths at a press conference after the show, but they didn't immediately hit it off. Instead, a whole year would pass before the two decided to take their shot at love. The pair would last for an entire decade before calling it quits in late 2013, early 2014. And as you'd expect, Fans who've been keeping up with the pair were stunned. Applying pressure on top of injury, talks of the once happy-go-lucky couple's turbulent relationship made people tune all the way in when Ashanti confided that she'd been betrayed to the point of no return. So, what really happened between Nelly and Ashanti? Spanning over their 10-year-long relationship, from the outside looking in, you wouldn't really expect much from the pair. Unlike most of your favorite celebrities, Nelly and Ashanti kept their love life pretty under wraps, only ever giving level surface answers when prompted. A year after the two had met at the After Grammys press conference, Ashanti said she didn't give in so easily, probably because Nelly didn't exactly ask her out at first, opting out for an autograph from her instead. Assuming the rapper was being sarcastic, she laughed it off but ended up signing a Grammy's pamphlet program for him anyways. After a few attempts, the awkward, so can I get your number? A question had arisen, and eventually she gave in. The two remained friends, and a whole year and some change had gone by before Ashanti granted Nelly's wish and agreed to go on their first date. Despite their public appearances at red carpets, social events, gatherings, and whatever else, the public knew they were together, but not not together together. They had this thing going on where they'd been seen out and about, but not much PDA or hints that they were a union were picked up. This may be because their relationship over the years had been an on and off type of ordeal. When they were off, they were off. And when they were on, they were still off. During the latter years of Y2K, Ashanti and Nelly had made their relationship more public, and they'd often be greeted by news outlets, blog sites, and article headlines as one of hip-hop's most iconic couples. At the time, that is. The love fest was running smooth, at least for us viewers, until around late 2013, early 2014, when the Rain On Me singer and Hot In Here rapper had announced that they'd, had announced that they'd officially split. Yes, they split up numerous times before, but folks didn't know that at the time, so this split was their first to the public's acknowledgement. Not too long after the breakup, headlines of Nelly and his new girl, Chantel Jackson, who he had met whilst filming his reality TV show, Nellyville, had surfaced, and people's red flags started waving when they noticed the timeline of Nelly's breakup with Ashanti to his involvement with Chantel. The suspicions were solidified when Ashanti had this to say about her former relationship. I think sometimes when people have their own securities, it allows them to act out of character. And I've been betrayed. If the suspicions couldn't be any more obvious while performing at a show, a fan yelled out, F Nelly. In response, Ashanti pointed at the fan and yelled, word. Now, with that being said, I don't think we need to say it or even spell it out for you. Although Ashanti hasn't directly stated it, it's safe to say that infidelity was heavy at play. Meanwhile, Nelly and Chantel were going strong 
and the two would last for five, six-ish years before calling it quits in 2019. Despite them splitting, the news of the split wouldn't be brought to life until 2021, when Chantel had responded to a comment under one of her Instagram posts, confirming the break while Nelly responded to a post on the Shade Room with, well, actually, just five years ended 2019, haven't been together for the past two, now y'all know. Assuming he didn't want the word to get out, he'd gone on an Entertainment Tonight interview and shared that he couldn't imagine his life without Chantel, and even hinted at marriage. But maybe this was Nelly trying to save face after Chantel began to truly understand the meaning of, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. After the split, she would expose that Nelly had been unfaithful throughout their relationship, but that the two remain friends to this day. In September of this year, the Fat Joe vs. Ja Rule versus had taken place, and like any other battle wanting to be won, secret weapons were brought out. Fat Joe and Ja had both called on Ashanti to perform their song, What's Love? This, of course, got the crowd hyped. But what viewers in Ashanti herself didn't know was that Fat Joe had also called on Nelly to perform their song, Get It Poppin'. While Nelly was performing, an anxious Ashanti was basically shooketh backstage, wondering why her ex was at the event. Mind you, this was the first time Ashanti had seen Nelly since their split seven whole years prior. Toward the end of the night, the crowd would get even more hype when Nelly trotted across the stage to a wandering Ashanti and cautiously engulfed her with a hug. A day or so after the battle, Fat Joe got on IG Live with Ja Rule, Ashanti, and Remy Ma to discuss what had happened during the show and a few other things. Ashanti expressed that she had no awareness of Nelly's presence till after she had saw him perform. She also confirmed she hadn't seen him since their split back in 2014. When Fat Joe brought up the possibility of any rekindling between Ashanti and Nelly, she shut down the idea altogether and confessed that she'd been in a happy relationship for quite some time. She went on to say that she still felt some type of way about her and Nelly split, telling us a lot of unresolved conflict many gray areas, as well as confusion is still there. Not wanting to drag the conversation and reopen old wounds, Fat Joe made sure to steer the conversation back to the event and other topics. Needless to say, Ashanti and Nelly's relationship lasted longer than the average swarm of Hollywood couples that seemed to be on a rotating schedule lasting from one to five business days. During the peak of their careers, these two entered a union that would last a whole decade. But unfortunately, someone's hunt was bigger than his prowls, and that eventually took a toll on Ashanti, as I'm sure it would on any person, any other person. According to Nelly himself, his loyalty within his According to Nelly himself, his loyalty within a relationship may not be as strong as cement, but marriage? That's where he draws the line. In a semi-recent interview, he stated, For me, the thing about marriage is that I take it very seriously. It is something I only do once. It is more important to me to die and be married than to have been married and it didn't work out. I mean, take whatever you will from that. As of the time that this video will be uploaded, Nelly is currently single and probably in Ashanti's DMs as we speak. Just kidding. But he is currently working on new music and doing his own thing. As far as Ashanti goes, who's to say that their on-again, off-again relationship won't be turned on again? Hmm, probably closer than we think. How do you feel about Ashanti and Nelly's lengthy relationship? Let us know what you think in the comments section down below. And stay tuned for more True Celebrity Stories.